We're, the, for, for this Sunday, just for the next hour, we're just going to listen to the bell. I think Kelly was right again. Was, it, was that Kelly? She, uh, I think someone asked her to ring it longer. So, you know, so she listens. It wasn't the neighbors, though. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, there are a few announcements printed for you in the back. It's uh, mainly the, the Bible study schedule there uh, that continues. Um, men's study is this coming Saturday at 8 a.m. Any other announcements that needed to be made before we begin this morning? Well, may the service be a blessing to you as we continue through the Easter season. Please stand as we begin. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is risen. He is, he is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We sing.
Most merciful God, we confess that we are dead in trespasses and sins. All we like sheep have gone astray, each of us turning to our own way. In your great mercy, deliver us from the death we deserve, for the sake of Jesus Christ. According to the Father's command, the Good Shepherd has laid down his life for the sheep and has taken it up again. If the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from death dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from death will also give life to your mortal bodies. Join me for a responsive litany, The Good Shepherd. 
A good shepherd knows his sheep well and never loses track of where they are. Our good shepherd, Jesus, has searched us and known us and discerned our every thought. We thank you, good shepherd, for understanding us so well. A good shepherd looks out for his sheep and never lets them out of his sight. The eyes of our good shepherd, Jesus, range across the land, and he strengthens those who belong to him. We thank you, Good Shepherd, for protecting us from danger with your watchful eye. A Good Shepherd speaks tenderly to his sheep to tell them where to go. Our Good Shepherd, Jesus, whispers in our ears whenever we are at a crossroads in our lives and says, This is the way. Walk in it. We thank you, Good Shepherd, for directing our lives. A good shepherd is willing to lay down his life rather than watch his flock die. Our good shepherd, Jesus, came in love to serve us and to give his life as a ransom for many. We thank you, good shepherd, for dying on the cross in our place. A good shepherd, good shepherd will never forsake his flock when bad weather, thieves, or wolves come their way. Our good shepherd, Jesus, says... I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. We thank you, Good Shepherd, for staying with us every moment of our lives. God, Chef, come on. Well, I'm kind of, I'm trying. It's hard, it's hard to stray when I'm kind of connected to this guy, but I'm trying. Yep, come on, just follow me like you should be doing. Ah, uh, hi, Pastor. Hi. Welcome hey, back. Pastor, Welcome back. Going? I was hoping you'd be here for yeah, Good Shepherd yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. But why do you call him a Good Shepherd? Because, you know, he never really, um, you know, he's never cuddling me like he's cuddling him. Well, that's because, you know, you're always getting lost. You know, Pastor, he was just recently diagnosed with ADLSD. <laughs> ADLSD, I haven't heard that one. Well, yeah, attention deficit loss sheep disorder. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, well, makes you know, why, you know, really got to tell everybody, you know, cons well, you're always getting lost. Yeah, well, I know. Yeah. Well, it's hard It's hard for the shepherd to scoop you up in his arms and show you his see? love and care when you're uh, off being a black sheep. Yeah, see, I told you, I told you. Well, I, he never really does anything for me. Well, that's because you don't let him. Should we let the good shepherd into our lives and let him do things for us? Absolutely. Should we? Yeah, should we? Yeah. Should we? <laughs> we should, we should, yeah. we should. Okay, well, see, you know, remember that one time when he, when he, like, there was that big, scary mountain lion? Oh, yeah, yeah, the mountain lion. And what did he do? Well, he kind of blocked, blocked, the shepherd blocked the way. He was going to lay down his life for me, just like you read earlier. Uh, that's, you know, see? Well, how, how could he show his love more greatly than laying down his life for the sheep? Yeah, well, uh, well, you know, you kind of put it that way. Yeah, yeah, you got to kind of come, you know, get with the flock here, buddy. Get with the flock, all right? Get with the program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mountain lion's pretty scary, but Ooh, we have... Yeah. We have uh, uh, <laughs> don't even say the ML word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about cougar? Like, ah, jeez, what is up with him? I don't even know if they had cougars back in Israel. Same thing. Same okay, thing. all right, yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, then we're scared. Yeah. But we have a Lord who is more powerful than the mountain lion, who loves us, cares for us, never watches, never stops watching out for us, is always there to take care of us no matter how great the danger. Well, I guess your dog... Oh, sorry, that's the ADSL. Oh, okay, that was a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, just... yeah. Well, squirrel? Where? <laughs> yeah, just kid, just, 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 yeah, never mind. I think you might have a touch, too. <laughs> well, you know, he's my brother. Yeah, yeah. Apple and we're the same thing of him, you know, so. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, where? There's an apple. Yeah. <laughs> shall we, shall we pray? Well, just shall like we, we don't put an apple in our mouth. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Should we pray? <laughs> sure, let's pray. Right. Dear Father. Dear Father. Thank you for sending. Thank, thank you for sending. The good shepherd. The good shepherd. To love us. To love us. Guide us. Guide us. Care for us. Care for us. Protect us. Protect us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, good. Well, okay, I guess he is the good shepherd. We'll, we'll go about our little flocking ways here. Glad we got that solved. <laughs>
John, the 10th chapter. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. shepherd of God's flock during the 1930s when Hitler was rising to power 
in the Nazi party. From the very beginning, Niemöller saw what Hitler was and what he had in mind for Germany. Niemöller became a leader in the anti-Nazi movement and spoke against the Nazi party on every occasion he could. Because of this activity, what happened to him? Arrested and put in a concentration camp. He did survive. Um, uh, he was Hitler's special prisoner. Day after day, he watched the prison guards mistreat the prisoners, and he pondered the words of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, on the cross. Father, forgive them. He did not see how such an act of forgiveness could be humanly possible. When he was released from the concentration camp, Martin Niemöller wrote about his inner struggle during his eight years of confinement. He said that he was grateful that he was not released sooner because it was during the latter part of his imprisonment that he learned what Jesus really meant when he said, Father, forgive them. Outside Nee Miller's cell window at Dachau, a gallows had been set up. He could see it day after day as other, other prisoners were put to death. He could hear their prayers and their curses. That gallows, he wrote, became my most reliable teacher. There were questions in the back of my mind. What will happen, Martin Niemöller, on the day that they lead you out there and put you to the test? When they put that rope around your neck, what will be your last words? Will you cry out, you criminals, you scum, there's a God in heaven, you'll get yours? Or will you be able to say with the good shepherd, Father, forgive them? What would you say? What would I say? I don't know. Martin Niemöller went on to write, it took me a long time to learn that God is not the enemy of my enemies. In fact, he is not even the enemy of his enemies. Who is this good shepherd who is so good he even loves his enemies? We need to continually think about our good shepherd if we hope to be able to forgive our loved ones, let alone our enemies. So why the good shepherd? Why does this shepherd Jesus dare to use that word in describing himself. It's almost as if all the other shepherds by comparison are bad, or at least inferior. Well, yeah. What makes this shepherd good, special, unique? Well, he is good, first of all, because he became a sheep with us. That's what the manger miracle of Christmas is all about. The shepherd became a sheep with us, sharing all our sheeply joys and sorrows, understanding and remembering how it feels to be way up there on the mountain heights and way down here in the valley depths. He knows both the heavenly joys and the hellish agonies of our daily living, and that comforts us. Second, this shepherd is good because he became a lamb. And lambs die, folks. Whether they be in Egypt or on Hebrew altars or on a bloody cross, lambs die to save the people. Of course, and that is why we behold the good shepherd dying on that bloody bitter tree. And the sheep live. Live the new life now, the Easter life of hope and love, courage and commitment. The sheep live beyond death and forever. Third, this shepherd is good because he rises for the sheep. No other shepherd has done that. Some shepherds may in fact die in defense of their flock. In fact, I'm told that the ancient sheepfold was in the form of a horseshoe or magnet. After the sheep had safely entered the fold to bed down for the night, 
the shepherd would position himself across the narrow entrance and there sleep. And so it would be literally over his dead body that the attacking wolf, bear, or lion could enter the fold and destroy the sheep. Yes, maybe some shepherds could and would die for their sheep, but only the good shepherd rose again for them. What other shepherd can make that claim, can duplicate and match that miracle? And so the unique shepherd we confidently commend and entrust ourselves to while we live and especially when we die is the good shepherd. For he is the only shepherd who can lead his sheep through the dark valley of death to the green pastures of eternal life and endless joy. Fourth, this shepherd is good because he works for the sheep and not for the salary, which means that his love for us, his faithfulness and care, his feeding and leading, in no way, shape, or form depend on the sheep, on their faithfulness or obedience to the shepherd. He doesn't wait for us to pay him with our faith or love or commitment or obedience of faithfulness before he becomes or remains our saving, loving shepherd. He doesn't quit being our good shepherd or go on strike if the salary isn't there or isn't high enough or regular enough. He just keeps right on being our faithful, dependable, reliable, good, loving, feeding, leading, forgiving, saving shepherd. Because that's what he is. The good shepherd who works for the sheep and not for the salary of our good deeds or godly behavior. And that is why despite our eternal weaknesses, repeated failures, and frequent departures from the paths of righteousness, we are still confident of reaching the heavenly fold. The shepherd will bring us there. It's all in his nail-pierced hands. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all human understanding, keep our hearts and minds on the good shepherd, the one who loves us, the one who leads us, the one who is always there for us. As we notice that we are distracted, discouraged, have our minds on, on other things besides, besides the one who did everything for us, help us repent, come on our knees before the Good Shepherd who sweeps us up into his arms, loves us, forgives us, and sends us on a new path a renewed path, a path that leads all the way to heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please stand as we confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. <clears throat> together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated for our hymn of response.
requests in a moment, but I'll give you the list that we have so far. Agus Pratt, uh, who had successful hernia surgery this week and is doing well and recovering and then has a, another uh, CT scan uh, tomorrow. Uh, Andy Higby, Art MacArthur, Men and Women in Public Safety and Healthcare, Cora Dickey, Jean's daughter-in-law Diane, Marlis's daughter Jackie, homeless people around the world, Ruth's friend, uh, Jenny and her mom. Jenny's also waiting for test results back from a recent CT scan. All those infected uh, with coronavirus and for the stop of its spread, Elaine Gilbert, Al Shawless, Rika's brother, Randy Sanders, Jeff Kent's stepmom, Ellie Faulkner, Linda Thompson. Birthdays this week, Dale Vanderjaat, Larry Van Wansiel, Nicole Thompson, Darwin Denke, Margaret Pryor, Nadine Bowler, and Dave Irby. And anniversaries, Bruce and Margaret Pryor. Other prayer requests today? Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> Could Isaiah possibly be giving a prayer request for <laughs> Eddie and all the men and women in our service. I don't think I've done that one before. <laughs> Good to have you here, Eddie. <laughs> uh, Dan, uh, Dan and Melissa are traveling back to Spokane today. Okay, safe travel back for Dan and Melissa. And we're expecting a baby in Spokane. I was wondering if that was going to be revealed this morning. So it's not Aunt Melissa anymore, it's Mom Melissa. So. Aunt too. Aunt too. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. you Anyone else? Jack? My great grandson, Oakley's 11th birthday today. Okay. Oak I, Oakley is 11 today. And because of the blankety blank border, <laughs> that's called Christian swearing. <laughs> So we pray there's a connection even though there's a barrier between you. Yes. What can I do? I told Julie she should have married her high school, playing high school friend. Oh, we're not going to go down that road. <laughs> Anyone else? Sam? I get to go and visit my kids and grandkids this week. Wonderful, wonderful. So safe travel and blessed, uh, blessed, uh, when was the last time you saw them? Okay. And Mike and Heather I saw last June. Okay. So safe travel and a blessed trip. Anyone? Carol? Uh, Jen, going to have a stress test tomorrow, some good results for that. And I've just been diagnosed with AFib. Oh. Okay, so, uh, so Jim, for a stress test, uh, don't be stressed. Well, they, they're gonna, you're going to be somewhat stressed. So, but uh, good, pray for good results there. And, um, and Carolyn, um, what did you say? AFib? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, so keep that ticker going. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Oh, Julia, Julia sorry. Your Aunt Helen? Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Please stand for prayer. Dear Lord, you are the Good Shepherd, and we put in your loving arms all of these prayer requests. We know that uh, you know each and every situation, and you are there with your healing touch, with your words of comfort, with your, um, with your, uh, with your offer uh, for, for, for patience, which is, which is difficult in the midst of struggle, especially when the struggle goes, goes on and on. Um, Continue to offer your hope, your love, and your peace uh, to all those we've named before you this morning and, and so many others that struggle physically, emotionally, spiritually. May they all know you as the Good Shepherd, and may you use us uh, for, for loving acts of ki kindness, works of comfort, or a, or a shoulder to lean on. Uh, may we be your hands and your feet, your, your under shepherd. Your, your sheep um, uh, out and about in the midst of all the sheep who suffer and, and are sorrowful. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. 
Lord, you are also the good shepherd that leads us to green pastures. Green pastures now filled with, filled with joy as you provide for us um, with food on our tables and, and friends at our, at our right hand. Uh, safe, safe journeys and opportunities to, to gather together amongst family and friends. You give the very gift of life itself. You've given it yet again to Dan and Melissa. And we praise you for that wonderful gift. Keep that little one safe and sound um, as, uh, as, as Melissa nourishes her along to a safe and healthy uh, entrance into, into the, the light of day. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Lord, you also have showered uh, life upon all those celebrating birthdays this week, and we put them into your loving and capable care. And those celebrating the gift of the gift of marriage uh, with the anniversaries this week. You you provide for us in countless ways. Help us to reflect on on an attitude of gratitude and just be in wonder at all that you provide to us in sickness and in health, in health, in good times and in bad. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us how to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Receive the benediction of the Lord. Thank you. 